guys, love it to see it. Now, I'm going to try and do this. There are connections between the three of you. I'll try my best. Louisa, you were in Woody's film. Yeah. Correct. Woody, Andy, you've both acted together, Planet of the Apes. But, Andy, this is the first time working with Louisa. That's right. Yeah. Perfect. Yes. Oh, OK, yeah. bang on, bang on. I mean, look, so, so uh, your first gig uh, together as a three, a week from Curtain Up, how are you feeling ahead of it? Oh, you oh. know. Yeah. Theatre, theatre, theatre. <laughs> yeah. No, it's great. It's fantastic. We're having a ball in the rehearsal room. We are, we, we are. It's a good laugh. It's yeah. really good laugh. Is, is, is it, like, on a scale of, like, one to ten, like, kind of getting into those, like, pre, pre-match nerves, I guess, how, how are they, Andy? Oh, Eleven. Yeah, yeah. Eleven. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, tonight, uh, yes, exactly. One week away. Yeah. So nervous. Well, we yeah, should say nervous. it's called Ulster American. Um, Louisa, you play a writer. Yeah. Now, this was right. This was written by a good friend of yours and a co-star in Dairy Girls as well, David yeah. Ireland. Yeah. Um, so you should probably be the one to tell us all about it. Okay. Well, it is a play uh, set the night before the rehearsals begin. And it's about a American Hollywood actor, played by me, no, I'm joking, played by Woody, <laughs> uh, English director and an Irish playwright. And um, it's a night before rehearsals and things don't go according to plan. I think that's Ooh, the most yeah. I'll say on this. That's a nice little tease. But, and, and Woody, it's been, been, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, nearly 20 years since you were last on stage in the 18, UK. 18 for me, 20 for... This fella. 18 to 22. Uh, I mean, what was it about this one that, that kind of, you know, I want to jump jump back on? Well, I, I, I read it, I think it was around August or September or something, but uh, I thought phenomenal writing, phenomenal. David Ireland, what a what a writer. Seriously good. And then I was like, but of course, uh, anyway, I had stuff kind of planned out, but then the strike happened, and then because the strike continued, it became evident that mm. it might be possible Mm. So we searched around, you know, all the West End theaters were taken. And anyway, I, I wanted both these guys in it and uh, they came on it. And then we found uh, Riverside Studios. And so just miraculously, we get to be here to get on stage together in a week's time. <laughs> 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 um, would you play your character, the leader man, as kind of an obnoxious character? Which, do you know, I'm going to mention this. I, I which don't is... see him as obnoxious. No. But okay, I mean, if you do. But this is uh, what's <laughs> completely different to you because I love that you've just taken your shoes off and now in your socks. I love that. Oh, Very yeah. relaxed on live telly. Yeah. That's so good. I I'm, like a, it. I'm a relaxed yeah. uh, I, I, a guy who likes comfort over style. And why not? Yeah. I'm so um, here for that. <laughs> I just thought I'd mention that because oh, it's just. Know, <laughs> but you know when you get a script and you read it, when when you read a character, does somebody you know pop into your mind, and then do they become the basis for the character that you sort of build? That doesn't usually happen. Uh, in, in this case, I thought of Andy. Uh, no. Uh, in, in this case, you know, there's a lot. This this guy's had a, a great deal of success as an actor, and he's come into this situation, and uh, he he's a provocateur. Well, I, I'm kind of pro a provocateur. I say things that I mean. I can't tell you how many times I've seen my kids just roll their eyes. Like, oh my god, I can't believe that. <laughs> you know. I, but I, I'm not a provocateur on the level of uh, Jay, my character. But so I just started thinking in ways like he's a lot like me. Many things uh, connect. So I don't know. I'm, I'm more the role model for this character. <laughs> <laughs> Make it easy for myself. I don't yeah. have to do as much work. Perfect. Nice. Right. Um, Louisa, you play a writer in this. Yeah. But do you, you know, when you're acting, do you like ad-libbing? Do you throw some of your own stuff in normally? Or does it depend on the script, depend on the writer? I do, but when the writing's so good, I think you don't have to. And um, David's writing is so fantastic. Yeah, but you're, you're heading, am I right? I think you're heading straight back on stage as soon as this is, this is over. Yes, with the same director. I'm with doing... the same director? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm doing Long Day's Journey in Tonight on the West End with... Um, 
Brian Cox. Oh, Brian Cox. Yeah. Oh, I mean, that's going to be incredible. Hey, well, look, yeah. Ulster American opens at Riverside Studios from the 4th of December. Now, the three of the guys, uh, they're staying with us. Uh, we have plenty more that we actually want to ask you about. Uh, but in the meantime, we think you will absolutely love this next film, uh, all in the theatre. Yes, because getting up on stage can be...